But is it my problem? No. It's yours. I'm talking about the guys in the mine, not you, chat. All right, Mr. Smiles is getting on. Knock those boots. Knock the dirt right off them. You know what? Everybody gets a boot knocking. Let's do it. Except for our exile trader friends. Zuri. Night Raven with your thousands of children. You're up to kid number 90. This is going to be. Andy Tofu. You keep dying, so. I'm not expecting much out of Tofu. Controller Cassie still just wandering around in her own little world. Fear me, just wandering around in his own world. I'm hoping he shows up again. He is going to be... He's probably going to get a laugh out of that. My mortal enemy. And you're already mating, so I'm not going to remate you. But there you go. Let's see. Well, I don't judge the pictures. Uh, you're actually a male. So this guy, Shamaki Smiles, is your first, first little kiddo. Good for you. Go have another one. <laughs> and uh, somewhere in their code on this last update or the last couple well you are clearly on the male side of things but you don't look it and I'm not judging at all maybe it's like the real 2023 update but uh, we really have to check who's male and who's not because we can't <laughs> we can't judge by looks on this planet which is how it should be I mean in real life and all that. You're overloaded, really? Because you have sleds worth of nuggets and a bunch of garbage you're sending me? No way. Get rid of your crap. There you go. I don't pick up more crap and you won't be overloaded. 82%. Alright. Just gotta make it to modern age and we don't have to worry about these lakes anymore. I say that, but like modern age and chemicals and all kinds of other fixings, but. And there we go. Let's see. Yeah, next courier hut up and ready to go. Sign all. Sign all. How many workers? 113. Plenty to go around. Get a couple work. I'll get a workaholic in the cemetery. We'll get a pint and a legaborn in. And now we got to go hunt for some mammoths. Hopefully, we have some close. Let's go try and find a couple of mammoths in this vast plane. Actually, I need to get more engineers over here before we start getting major infected zones. That cemetery is going to breach that. Perfect. Okay, let them build that out. And let's get a little bit of storage right in this hub. This is the shit road. These are all kind of crap, but this one's super crappy. So there you go. How much oil did I just put that on? Not a lot. That's fine. There. Damn, knocking boots again. All right. Uh, you better watch out, Night Raven. Somebody's coming at your lineage. I mean, granted, Night Raven has had 300 years, 300 years of uh, mating on top of <laughs> where you're just coming in. Actually, which reminds me, let's save at 300 years. Every century we save. That way, if I screw up really bad, I can just go back a century and we can forget it ever happened. And I totally forgot what I was actually going to do over there. What was I, what was I doing over there before I got interrupted by my 
not being infected. Hmm. Hmm. Don't quite remember. Well, at least we got cemetery coverage eventually over there, so that's good. All right, we're back at it. Team is overloaded again, you pansies. Ah, man, fine. I got the points. Cure, cure. I'm not curing everybody. We're leaving two of you guys behind. <laughs> you got a mission. I'm gonna. Man You're rebelling now. You out of food. Poor you. Just suck it up, Buttercups. Get back home with your crap. You did rebel, but now you're full. So I can leave you down there next time. I got, I got no problems with that. We have the people. As long as nobody in chat is down there, that, that's that's the big deal. Where I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to torture chat people in the hole. But obviously, you know, these guys are not putting the lotion in the basket, so they might get the hose again. Oh right, mammoths. Yes, right. Uh, animals anywhere would be cool. Something moving because. Just 20 minutes ago, we had, like, a glitchy way too many of them. Okay, let's go tame these guys. Get those mammoths going on in there. Alright, let's take a look at eateries in general. Everybody's assigned. Let's start just updating a few of them at a time. Farm, same thing, just one or two at a time. And let me see how many updated farms we already have. Ready to rock with three people. One. Not great. That's okay. Oh dear, we got locusts. Thank you for the CP, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm just going to chill out on upgrades. Cemeteries, I do want to get upgraded, but we just updated a bunch of eateries and stuff. Uh, we're pulling 815. We're capped out at 3210. Oh, you happen to return. Oh, you brought back some gold. Well, thanks, guys. Was that the fear of God or was that the lotion or what? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Uh, go. There's my strategy, is just guessing and clicking a whole bunch. Oh, you can't be a dick, Mr. Smiles. I mean, you can. You can try to be a dick. But we have ways to deal with dicks. They go in the hole. All dicks go in the hole. Wait a second. Uh, 1993. All right. <laughs> hey, I resemble that comment. <laughs> well, as long as Night Raven's laughing, then we're good. Okay, I'm going to give these guys a second in a bit. Uh, glass is shit in the bed right now. So, why? Do we need one more? Yeah, we ran into this problem the other time too. Let's just top you guys off. Can I get you just back here? How much oil is right there? Not a whole bunch of much, so I think we're good. And how about you press the right keys? That would be cool. 
There we go. Glass compound. Um, hey, exile fellers. How, how much time do we have before we can trade again? You got any glass? Useless. Glass? Useless. All y'all are useless. Eh, this one? Useless. Yep, well that was uh, not very eventful. Alright, things are... Uh, we're, we don't have a lot more to upgrade, it looks like. Ooh, scary locusts. Damn, alright. You really sound the horns for a little locust horde? Come on, man. We have been through a lot worse. We've been firestorms in the winter and blizzards in the summer, and you guys are scared of a little locust swarm? There you go. Was that worth breaking out the horns for, guys? Really? Okay. So, glass is the issue. Let's build that next glass factory. We've got enough gas for it at this point in time. But I am going to have to compensate with more gas. And we have a ton on this planet anyways, so I'm just going to slowly pick away at our little pockets as we go. Do I have all my gas refineries done? Do I have production done yep okay so let's go back to our gas mines yep everything's rocking everything's still full let's prioritize that one teams overloaded again you sons of bitches what are you carrying oh your hippo figurine put you in over your head drop one guys 580 final cure both of you but that's it no more cures. You take care of yourselves. Hey, you better be returning. <laughs> farms. Back to our farms. Yeah, that was that was my bad. I should have uh, I should have overcompensated for for glass in Stone Age. That was dumb. I thought I would have been able to trade the exiles, and uh, uh, that's what happens when you assume. So you run out of gas and glass. But coming up in, in, hey Kevin, how you doing? Hi Kevin. What are you doing, Wander? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at you. Can I get you out of the corner of my eye? How about now? Are you going to keep walking? You're not. Kevin, we're going to figure out your story one of these days. We are. Not today, but one of these days. There's a part of me that wants to set you on fire to see what you do. Yeah, I'd run too. Run, Kevin, run. <laughs> He is. He was running. I threatened him and he's like, okay. I'm sorry. I'll go do tree things in tree places. Not multiple places, just tree places. What you got, Kevin? Boom. Nothing? Invincible. Kevin is invincible. We're just smart. All right, Kevin. You may have won this battle, but you haven't won the war yet. Let's see. Dude, this is like straight almost lag of woolen tribe. You guys are really good at hunting deer. Um, 0% bonus? 
with eight experience on that. I don't know how that that works. Okay. I don't think it matters at all. <laughs> You're going to kill things. We're going to eat them. That works. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I just want the building, man. The building that takes a lot of glass, of course. All right, how are we looking on our glass factories? Where are you? Over here. You're almost done. Uh, 116 unemployed, no problem. Let's do it. Let's get that glass going. We got the couriers out there. Where is our next couriers upgrade? Distribution logistics right here. Okay. We're up 163. Okay, all right. Expedition camp. You did okay this time. How about you guys? Are you still bringing back that hippo? You got that hippo, right? Um, You're going to rebel in 20 seconds. Dude, you have 8 seconds to get to the top. You suck. There. Come back up. Thanks for the wasted CP. Okay, how are we doing on power? Out of 3,600, let's get a couple more batteries down. You fit there. There you go. You did it. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, I, I totally, like, upgraded everything with several hundred glass compared to what we needed on the thousands of levels. So, the glass factories are doing all right. And here is a situation we feared, of course. Ma Tamai. Tamai. <laughs> Tamai got infected. Because we are so far out. Okay. Not a crap road, but we have a road right there, so we don't need this one. And I will keep that crossroad. There we go. Slowly but surely we're building up over here. I'm going to get some sure-footed people out here because they're fast as hell. And we need fast people out here. Not particularly in here. They can saunter to work if they want. But on the engineer side and the cemetery sides, we need fast nuggets. At least to start. So we get a quick Lagavulin, and we'll get a quick Pint. So many Lagavulins. So many. We're going to just have to give you your own planet, you know that? Oh, you damn kids loitering. Get off my lawn. Yeah, not doing great on trees. I haven't really been um, as obsessive about planting trees with high CP, but we'll get there. Fine, dodge the bullet. Okay, looking pretty updated mostly. Ministry of Health. We said we wouldn't cry, but we're so happy that Mr. Smiles and Lahahu have found love, lost it, 
then eventually settled for each other. Ah, oh, so sweet. Okay, 97 up. All right, let's get one upgraded there. Because we're not doing our 900 that we used to back in the day. Did we ever... Do we ever tame the mammoth? I guess we did, because I can't tame anymore. So let's go back to those cattle farms. I totally, totally remember where those were. Cattle farms. Come out and play. Mammoth. Get him in there. You've only been alive for 10 minutes and have five wives. That's how we do on Strange Topia. Just hedonism at its finest. And your expedition, guys. What do we got? 168. Not bad. Give me some CP on that one, too. I'll let it fly. Get another 10 down there with another this many and that many and this and go. And Azuri's coming back for knocking the boots. How are the tribes looking? They're doing pretty good. Um, Let's see. What's the purple heart up to? Purple heart is up to... 22 pages. The Lagavulin tribe is up to 29 pages. Tofu is doing 11. Jones has three people. We still got Adahi and Alu, but apparently all their kids were not immortal, so they all died. And how are the pints doing? Pints are coming along. They're, they're, they're modest at, at four pages. Yep. And we have a, a new contender. The Smile Tribe. And Smiles is already up to a page. Shit. And all good traits, too. Got no lazy fuckers or nothing. Good job, Smiles. All right, what do we got? Accelerated studies, I think. How many stupid nuggets do we have? 382? Yeah, we need accelerated studies. Go get hurt. I don't care. Just get your paper. <laughs> you think my, your nuggets are being sent to the mines and left behind? Some of them, yeah. I mean, I can't do anything without a lag of woolen involved. <laughs> and yes, your family are pure... Pure blood's there. Yeah, dang, you got some nuggets. Yeah, that uh, that tribe is doing pretty successful two times in a row now, actually. Okay. Lots and lots of not upgradable stuff, which is great. Let's prioritize that. I think we're almost ready for modern age. Slowly but surely. Clarice. Um, cemetery is complete, so that was the one way the hell out there, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Let's get a workaholic. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, I don't want to assign just all your people smiles there. Let's get fair trade in here. Uh, quick move in purple heart and a tofu. Let's get a immune tofu in that side over there. All right. That's coming along. Okay. I, I don't mind that. We're, we're starting to make progress where we're not going to get infection on this side. Perfect. We did it. 
get some more storage on both sides of that ridiculous path that they've created for themselves. Here we go. Arm is complete. Let's get a neutral purple heart. How we doing on glass? All right, we've made a kickback on that glass. Kevin, what are you doing now? Team is returning. Good. Bring back good shit. Nearly half the planet's pure industry. I hate nature anyways. Yeah. I mean, like, what's nature ever done for us, right? Trees. Who needs them? Oxygen. Psh. Eight fifty eight. All right, we got eight fifty eight. Let's go over to our national park over here, where we started putting it. I think it was over here. All right, flint daggers. We got all that stuff done. Um. All right, we are one hundred percent geared up for the industrial age. Except for Divine Punishment, but as we all know, we leave that till we get about a thousand nuggets. Thank you for the tacos. Appreciate it. All right, I'm pretty happy with this outcome, man. I tell you, those courier huts. That's. That's what saved this whole thing. It's like so slow until it's not. So what do we have to upgrade still? Okay, reservoir. 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 Cemetery. Fence tower. Water pump that's off. Let's do a slow little click around. How many pages of upgrades do I have? Uh, not many. Not many. That's okay. A little bits at a time, so we're not tanking our entire inventory. How'd that gas mine do over by the glass factory? Uh, we're all up and running. Right. Let's do another one. Yeah, ish there is good ish iron mine awesome band of iron right there can I get anywhere near 800 727 will do plants looking good guys you have helped a hell of a lot in order to get this where it is today. I'm telling you, actually, for like six hours into this thing, this is uh this is doing really good. Of course. Couldn't have done it without you, chat. And I I'm sincere about that too, because yeah, this game goes a lot slower when people aren't knocking boots left, right, and center. And if you'll notice, the research thing that you're, it, it's, you're not researching anything only pops up once every half an hour now, not once every 30 seconds. So they moved the decimal somewhere. Okay, so we just stick around. We wait until a couple things get upgraded because I just threw them a bunch of tasks there. We'll let that ride for a few minutes. Is this a blank engineers? I bet it is. It is not. And then we'll pop through a couple more upgrades. We'll get to the last page of upgrades and then we'll get into modern age.
Slowly but surely. Let's see. Still got all the oil basically left. All the gas. We barely even touched anything. So that's awesome. And that's kind of the plan for this one where now that I know how much gas and oil and iron we're going to need for the future, I'm trying to stockpile it now instead of trying to play catch up later. Because that was sort of a problem. Um, as I was learning how to travel and how to do trade between planets, it was just, I just tanked my entire iron industry on Mother Planet. So this run through, I'm hoping that ain't the case. And on the plus side with this whole curvature and them creating this stuff because they needed a shorter path is now we have industrial and spaceport air area right here. There's no gas there. There's no oil. So this is a perfect area for it once we get rid of this guy. And we're in winter. I haven't checked recently, but I think we're fine on. We got 26 minutes and we got 15 minutes till end of winter. Eateries. That is my main gripe right now is that eateries are not doing everything we can to keep everybody full. But we're all upgraded. So that just means we need more. Is that a new cemetery? Nope, that's just an upgrade. It's okay, stand down. It's all good. Alright, so we boot through modern age after this. And then as soon as I get into space age, then our water problems are pretty much solved as long as I get enough chemicals. Chemicals are going to need gas and oil and food. And so we're going to have enough of that. Hopefully by modern age, I'm rocking around 10,000 food at the end of modern. Glass is only going to be a problem because I hit it so damn hard with all these upgrades. But with the three gas mi or glass factories going and a bunch of gas mines producing 26 and consuming five, three to five. We should be fine on that for now. Two more long days of work ahead. Time for bed. Good night all. Thank you very much for stopping by and uh, mating your brains out. I appreciate everything you've done for this planet and me. Have a good night, Night Raven. And we will see you soon. Quite literally. <laughs> All right. Any more iron mines I can put down? This is a good little hub here. Thank you for 3,000 iron. I'll take that all day long. And all this started because that damn little stick of unobtainium is right there. <laughs> Purple Heart taking over, <laughs> holding on to the reins. I think both of you guys are going to have really big tribes.
No, I'm good for now. I appreciate it. Yeah, it is going to be a good race. As long as none of, you, none of you get in the mines there. How is our mine doing? End expedition. We got a piece of something. Yay. All right. I'll give you five of those. Five of those. This many of those. And a couple of those. A couple of those. Go. Alright, bricks are doing great. Planks, not as good, but we're doing okay. Let's just get more trees in this area. Hopefully they cut those down for the wood to use for that. Let's check our farms. Eatery is up. Good. Yeah, there we go. Let's fill up those farms. That is it. We are max capacity at all upgraded farms. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. What else do we need to upgrade? Engineers, engineers, water pumps I'm leaving alone, cemetery, cemetery, warehouse, engineers, engineers, reservoir, 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 warehouse. Okay, we'll let them work on, chew on that for a little bit. You're gonna call it a night too? Yes, 8 a.m. will be here very soon. Five hours, in fact. So, yeah, get your sleep. I love you. Have a good night. And I'll see you very soon. Mr. Smiles with the party time face. It is party time. Get the lights going and everything. I should probably do that. I've seen a couple streamers do that with their lights where you can like, you know, you use your uh, channel points and all the lights dance or change colors or whatever. If I was that kind of streamer, but I'm not. <laughs> I just want to play my video games and if you want to stop by and enjoy it, you're welcome to it. This is as far as I go on the entertainment side of things. All right. Everything's coming together except for water. Water's not doing so good. I'd like about 200 up. Um, where is our big ass lake? This lake we can utilize too, but here's Lake Big Ass. Let's get one more upgraded there. What are you? Uh, I got nothing on this lake yet. Oh, no, I do. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to keep that very plain Jane over there. Mm, okay, I got 21,000 on that one. 13,000. All right, we'll upgrade this guy here. How about you guys? Um, We'll turn this pump back on. 752 up. All we got to do is make it to those space age hydro colliders and we are laughing on that stuff. Provided that I can get enough trade to come in where I got oil and gas coming perpetually into mother planet, which I got a plan for. I do. I don't know if I get to it this stream because again, that whole three o'clock in the morning thing kind of, kind of hits harder. Well, we'll see where we get to. Uh, why? Why did there have to be that? Couldn't it have just been like a really nice straight road right across the planet? Was that so hard? Yes. Yes, it was. Hey, you guys got anything I need? Glass, per se? We love some glass. Take your oil. 
And your iron. And your food. All right. Um, let's move holy ground. I don't think they're really going to move out here anytime soon, but it'd be nice if they started building a few houses along this, this right rail here. How are we doing on pollution? Minus 11. I can deal with that. As soon as modern aid hits, hits though, we're going to need a lot more of these parks. Might as well get ahead of that. That's a crap road. Don't want you. There's a crap road right there. Don't want you. What determines if we actually move into the Holy Land area? It's a uh, population density. So once all of the existing houses are filled to capacity, like they have at least two adults living in them. I don't think the uh, the children matter as much, but if each one has two adults, all these are at full capacity, then they will build more pieces. I guess I didn't put... Did I put a fire station down? I did. Go do your job. Yeah, so sometimes... Like, it'll take a long time for them to build out here based on the fact that there's a lot of houses being built that probably don't have any capacity. Um, I'm not sure if I can check that. Let's see if we can. Let's go with residential. And then the worker aspect. So there's two houses that are have nobody in them. And then slowly but surely, right? Um... Let's see what the max capacity of this house is. Two. So that's at max. So after these two are filled with two adults, effectively, then they'll build another one. Or whatever that capacity is. So especially when we hit modern age and they start getting into the apartment buildings, after everything becomes skyscrapers, the, the capacity for each residential is very high and so it's going to stay like they're going to build all these these medieval houses are going to go into modern skyscrapers and that holy ground that we put here is probably going to be left in the dust for a good long time but then at some point in time that that gets to capacity and then they build more out to there hopefully that answered that Okay, how are we looking? Let's go for some more upgrades. Um, let's check our production. Gas mine is up and running. Let's get some bodies in there. Get some bodies in there. Am I missing any? Nope. Okay, okay upgrade reservoir. Engineers. Reservoir, engineers, engineers, engineers. And that seems to be just about it for upgrades. So, yeah, and I'm not touching water pumps because we're doing good on that. Seven twenty two planks, not doing bad there either. Yeah, no problem. You're very welcome. And obviously my answers are only from what I've seen myself. You know, the devs may have different designs on it, but it's just from what I've kind of gathered through playing for uh Steam told me I got sixteen hundred and fifty hours today. And I'm not bragging about that. I'm just, <laughs> I was like, oh my God. 
I, uh... Well, this game got me through COVID, though. I, I will give you that. Like, the lockdown, I learned a whole lot about this game. I spent a lot of days just kind of putting away and learning about it because, you know, like everybody else, we didn't really have much else to do. So it's always had its hooks in me, but COVID really, like, sank them in. Where it's like, okay, I can see the potential here. How's our fire coverage looking? Fire coverage looks pretty okay. You can tell that's going to be a problem area somewhere, someday. And not a complete road anyways, so we do not need it. Pretty sure I hired somebody to take care of that. Pretty sure. I did. Good. Um, how many we got? 160 up. For workers. Let's get everybody we can into buildings right now. Uh, that buildings we need. The iron mine. For sure. Uh, defense tower, why not? Eatery, for sure. Let's get the other iron mine going. Yeah, total lesson learned. Um, if anybody's trying to play through this game and get into the space and all that and all the trade, iron, gas, and oil. Tap your damn mother planet. Like, have like 10,000 of each. Almost before you start travel. And I know it sounds extremely excessive, but uh, you're going to need it, especially if you want to have nuggets everywhere. I mean, I don't think I'm going to need it because I'm, I'm planning on using nuggetoids for the entire universe colonization. Because I looked at it where, you know what, why not use robots? They don't need food. They only need water to power their buildings. They don't need a drink. Um, the spaceships are, are the, the crafts that we drop them off and charge them up so we don't need nuggetoid factories. There's a lot more benefits to using robots for colonizing this game than using nuggets because nuggets are very fragile little creatures. And the nuggetoids are just these like big brutal beasts that'll just take over the whole universe a lot easier than I think nuggets will. So that's going to be my strategy for going forward in this game is we're going to get to Nuggetoids and then we're probably going to look at Mother Planet and we're going to send supplies over there. But there's not going to be many Nuggets in the universe. Lots of robots, though. Especially when Nuggets keep getting friggin' overloaded. Because you keep picking up crap. Stop picking up crap. And six hurt nuggets. All right, I got enough to cure that many. I'm not doing that many more, though. Elections, gym bands, right to arms. Let's not kick all our strong nuggets out of society because that's the most ridiculous friggin' thing. I really hope I don't miss a vote by accident and have a gym ban because that would destroy society. Why would you have a law that destroys society? Doesn't make. I mean, I get the whole, you know, the, the social kind of aspect in real life, but yeah, very weird to put that one in as a new, a new law. 125, we're going to need a lot more cement now, so let's get that going up. Get our cement factory going. Um, let's check our progress on... Yeah, we <laughs> like... Six things to build, so I think it's time to go for modern age. There we go. 20 minutes. Or 12 minutes or whatever it is in fast forward. Let's 
looking good though. We're looking pretty balanced across the board. Water is going to be what it is until we get to the space age. Um, we are going to need more electricity for sure. So I'm going to lay a few more of these down until we get to solar panels. See inevitabilities of it. You know, modern stuff is just more costly. Oh, you happened to return, did you? What'd you bring? Four hurt nuggets and a pyramid and this wood perpetual engine. Um, okay, we're at 255, 285. You brought me 30 friggin'. All right, one, two, three, five, eight, ten. I'll bring some educated nuggets down this time with me. Handful uh, stuff. What? Why can't I send that expedition? Oh, wait. Gotcha. All right. Not a handful of stuff. There. Go down for 15 minutes. That's all you got to do. Night Raven wins it. Okay, everybody's looking good. Let's go back to our production line up here. Gas mine's up. No, that gas mine is toast. Okay. And looks like we're fully populated with everything we need to be. I leave one person in fire stations until we see a firestorm coming up. And as you saw before as well with the pumps. I just let the pumps ride in their current state. I don't update them all because they're just going to drain my lakes. I'm going to do a quick check on our lakes here. A couple spritzes of water. It's a fire nobody cares about yet. Um, trees, not doing great on trees, but not doing terrible either. Like, I don't mind when the environment drops down a little bit. When, once it starts getting down this line, we're, we're in trouble. So I do try and sort of be proactive about it. Get some trees on the other side of the planet, not next to that city, but... There we go. Gotta save some CP for those locusts, eh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape to get into modern age here. Shouldn't have much to do besides, I mean, the glass is probably still going to be the ass kicker. We don't have a lot of material to trade modern age because as soon as we get into modern age all three of the uh, exile cities are going to have electronics fuel chemicals all the stuff we need to start getting into modern age so i'm going to probably try and trade my planks and bricks probably half of each and all my stone because that's just a ridiculous amount of stone we'll get that done i'm really not going to build much right now because i just want them to kind of Make sure they're all balanced. We got enough. Oh, we got five injured or sick, really? Why? Yeah, you guys are in the hospital, so I get your deal. Um, where's the rest of my injured? Eh? Are you just injured? Okay, so that means that's an in basically indicating that I don't have enough hospitals. Let's go try and find. Is there a group of them? Okay, so you're way the hell out here. So I think it would probably be a good idea to put a hospital down here. Right next to a cemetery? Hell yeah. Um, this is a that, was a that was always a crap road, so we'll put a, we'll put a hospital down here. Help them out a bit. I don't even need to get rid of that crap road. 
Look at that. It's like real life. Hospitals and cemeteries, side by side. How many more sick do I have? None. Good. We have three educated nuggets required. What job do you need? Are you required in good sirs? Engineers? Nope. Mm. Oil jacks? No, you don't need educated for oil jacks. Hmm. Cement? Nope. I don't know. There's there's three spots open for ed educated nuggets. We're just floating, you know, not exactly at the 50% mark here, but once we get into modern and we get into universities, then all our uneducated nuggets should convert pretty quickly. scary locust coming up we got four minutes sweet we're bouncing a little back on glass here everything else is pretty standard I did a little more cement than I usually would because the cement on transfer going into space age and we're gonna need a lot of that too a lot more than I usually do for because I'm, I'm used to uh, early access numbers, right? Where I'm like, oh, okay, I only need like 50 cement at a, at a time, but obviously the game has changed now. Couldn't be happier about it because I was like wondering, I'm like, dude, like what do I do with my planet after I'm done? You know, I just watch the resources dwindle and, you know, go to the moon and take its like 10,000 oil and do the same thing with it, but there wasn't a lot we could do and now it's they say it's infinite based on your computer, but I got to assume that the plans get pretty repetitive, not too far into the game. Oh shit. We already got residentials building up out here. That's awesome. So let's build them on this side now and kind of start filling this in. So we have a whole population of nuggets to actually support our space and modern age industry over on this side. And odds are is what I'm going to try and do is build a hyperloop system over this way and we'll start branching out across the planet with hyperloops as opposed to asking for roads. It's a pretty sweet looking patch of oil too, isn't it? Let's do that. Get it done. Start with a tiny little bit up here. And tie a little bit over here. And ladies and gentlemen, hold for dramatic pause. Industrialization. Here we go. And hacking versus bureaucracy. Completion of the antenna tower. All energy generators receive 10%. Use your creator powers in order to scare the mayor into allowing the project to move forward. I can do that. Hi, mayor. Hi, mayor Light Night Raven. Oh, it's a good thing she's asleep right now. Okay, now let's protect Stephen Hagking from the UFOs.
that was a pretty big hit on creator points, but it's fine. Um, I only need 125 points for this next mission, I think. Except... Alright, where are these UFOs? Where are you? One? Okay, where are you? Are you still down here? Okay, let's go find that other UFO. Where are you? There you are. Okay, we did it. Yay! Alright, let's trade you guys for whatever you have and whatever I have. And see what a thousand stone will do for me with nine just that eh how about 2,000 stone all that all that and all your steel beams for another hundred or so okay and I will trade that off there we go how about you guys what do you got rocking you got fuel um, I'll take 500 of my bricks we'll take all your fuel all your steel, all your plastics for 350. How about you guys over here? I'm gonna take all your computer chips, uh, 500 and 400 and probably 200 of those for nine of those, nine of those, nine of those. Don't need that much at all. Sweet. 200, 100, 100, perfect. Okay, now we got a lot of starting supplies, perfect. So as these are upgrading, the first things I'm going to start upgrading are the wind turbines, but we got to get to that unlock first. So steel making into electronics. And let's get that whole thing going on. We got 296 points already. No chemicals though, eh? Not a single person had any chemicals. That's a shame. I mean, it's okay. We're going to have, you know, many hours to build up a chemical empire and stuff. Thanks for the rocks. Hey, how is our creator point production doing? Scared the crap out of him with all those lightning strikes. So let's try and get our production back. That's probably not going to be enough, but it might be a little bit. Come on, kick it up. There we go. No oh, shit. Just about made it. Not bad. There we go. Maxed it out. Not bad at all. As we stare upon our barren landscape of society. Can't keep trees around these nuggets for the life of us. Okay, so we got people growing over there. We're going to wait for residential over here. But that's going to take a long, longer than a minute because, yeah, once they get these skyscrapers in, these nuggets are just going to want to live in these little territories and our uptown hive, wherever it is. Yeah, this is just 
this is crazy that they all moved in here at the same time. I've never seen them be this compact before. I think it's going to look cool. I think it'll really look like a really decent downtown core sort of thing, but normally I wouldn't have this many nuggets in this a single section. I doubt it's going to hurt us because what I plan is to, if I do have a ton of nuggets, we'll just have send all of them to Mother Planet from anywhere we're going. There may be a few planets where I need a handful of nuggets, say like, you know, 50 or 100. But I'm not trying to have thousands of nuggets on all the plants because it's just this logistic nightmare keeping all of them alive. I'd rather ship all the nuggets back to Mother Planet so we have thousands of pl nuggets living here and then robots just doing all the work on the other worlds. Okay, come on, steel making. Let's get this done. And that is prime area. So we're going to have steel, electronics, chemicals, the whole nine yards right in, right in this area here. And Hyperlube from here to all the other areas of the planet. Might even look nice right across here, but I don't want to screw up the oil industry yet. And the gas. Let's get the gas out of here as well. It's kind of funny, eh? You know, we look at it where it's like, oh, I got 117,000 gas. Like, there's no way I can get through all that. It's like, yes, there is a certain way. You try and colonize a universe with a single planet's worth of resources. Yeah, you're going to need all of it. <laughs> Yeah, commercialized steel making, good to go. Uh, let's get our modern wind turbines because we're going to need that. Let's get our steel making going. Okay, so reasonable, but not so much. Let's see our road system here. Yeah, it's pretty garbage, as to be expected. So I'm going to start... I don't think I'm ever going to use these roads. People are just going to walk. Like, we'll use maybe that one and that, the uprights. But the lateral ones we're not going to use. So I'm not too concerned about killing these off here. So we'll start right here. Um, Actually, let me think about it. Is this the best way to go? Yeah, because this is our, our home center. So a lot of supplies are going to come from here. And we'll just start at the start with one... Two. Oh, Mr. Smiles. Rest in peace. Not sure what happened to you, but not so smiley now, are we? Okay, I'm going to prioritize one here. And Mr. Smiles, back in action. Okay. I think I'm going to need probably about six steel mills in total. That'll bring me about here. And then probably three electronics to about here. Two fuel factories at least. Maybe over to here. And then chemicals. Like 10 to 12 chemical factories over in this side here. Alright, Smiles is back in the game. Let's give him a last name again. So the Smiles Tribe can live on. How many are we up to on the Smiles Tribe? I mean, knock and boost pretty hard. You got three pages. Nice job. Okay, and the cool part is, is that I don't have to touch a damn thing right now. Like, there's... Everything's upgraded. Everything's done. There's nothing we can do until we get to the upgrades. So these guys are just going to focus on building their little houses. I'm going to focus on steel industry until I get the upgrades for the wind turbines. And we're going to build up and probably rock out to space age within a couple hours. It's not fast. None of it is. And there we go. Mechanized stone processing. I have enough... 
steel and electronics to do this already. So what we're going to do is take one stone and an autonomous sawmill. I'm probably just going to do maybe two of these and I can close these factories down because these guys are going to support it. We'll see. A lot of my trade deals historically have been with planks and bricks where I'm just making too many of them. But I want to try and balance that where if I'm cutting down on planks more than bricks, like stone, we're never, we're going to, we're probably never going to run out of stone we're, and we can always get more from other planets. But the trees, I don't want to keep planting trees. So I'm going to kind of get like two autonomous sawmills and then hopefully balance everything out with that. Not a big fan of just planting trees perpetually. How many? That's the first time I've looked. We're up to eight cr criminals on this planet. I guess we need the police. I should probably start building barracks so we can take care of our competitors pretty soon. One cop shop. You know, fuck it. I'm, I'm just going to wait till we get to modern warfare and then I'll, I'll build modern barracks. And we are going to need some courier's huts. Lots and lots of courier's huts. Let's get you guys over here. More food for all the workers. More drink. How disrespectful is that, eh? Like, oh, you got a graveyard here? Oil jack. Boom. Alright, glass is going to take a pretty major hit. Autonomous sawmill. Alright, let's go home. And find our sawmills again in the winter, of course. Right over here. Let's get our first autonomous sawmill going on. And you figure by the name they wouldn't need nuggets, but they still need fucking six nuggets in an autonomous sawmill. Go figure. Fire station without engineers. Oop, I don't want to put your whole family over on this side of the world, so we'll sprinkle you guys in. And why did I build this again? I bet I don't have a graveyard here. Yeah, it didn't look like it, did I? Ah. Okay, so they are using this for something I'm not sure what but looks like a pretty prime hunting ground doesn't it oh what do we got here what do we got it yeah, I think accelerated studies is a good choice and we got to get to tertiary education soon right there so let's let me see. Yep, that is going to be the path. Let's get to those universities. And let's get some more iron because once that steel industry kicks off, we are just sucking out the iron out of this planet. Where's your dome? Are you building outside your dome? You are. Good. 
good. If I really need to, I can light this building on fire and sometimes it transfers across as long as it's outside the dome, half and half. Right now, I'm, I'm going to keep these guys around because as you saw, I traded a whole bunch of materials right off the bat. Before we have electronics, steel, plastics, or fuel, we're already up a whole bunch. So it's good to keep the exiles around. Sometimes they will mess with you though. And that's just the price we pay. Alright, these are coming along just fine. And let's build two more. I get engineers over here. Oh, really? That's how you're going to do it, eh? Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Okay, I'm going to start with four, but I'm going to leave space for some. And then we'll probably start electronics on this side and work our way in. Okay, we got our first one. I'm gonna do two of each. Um, I've got uh, not a lot of steel yet, but we just started making steel, so. Should be good there. Once I get up to like 2,000 of each, then I'm gonna chill out for a bit. I do need to get more stockpiling in there though. And wasn't that like, and didn't we already do that? No, I don't have the upgrade for that yet. Which I'm needing because we are out of storage space. So how far away is stockpiling? Where are you? Capacity planning. All right. Yeah, I guess make a cop. There you go, buddy. What are you usually? Your gas miner? Now you are the only cop on the planet. Those are cattle farms soon. Yep, they're growing. They need herbs. Um, probably going to need more herbs than I'm actually producing right now. So. Uh, do I need that robe? Not at all. All right. I'm going to plop you right there. Make you a deadly seed. And... And hopefully we can just designate this, if I remember, into an herb storage. Okay, 726 up. 
4,000 we're in spring not bad not great though 1300 so I'm gonna need more water power coming in I'd like to get a thousand uh, fine I'll upgrade one of you just tiny little upgrades at a time because all of our lakes aren't that big so I don't really want to mess with the process too bad Now, upgrade you and trickle effect. Okay, we're going to take a massive power hit with all this new industri industrial stuff coming in. Uh, what else can I do? Electronics, ready to go. Okay. So, let's start electronics down this way. I think I'm probably only going to need three of these. Um, I'll start with two. Maybe I can save that uh, that road over there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I'm just within it. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I just killed it. Whatever. Don't care. Okay, waterworks and boreholes is ready to upgrade so let's get all our not all at the same time but let's get a bunch of these ready to go I got 2400 iron right now doing okay on iron but not great oil jack 550 we don't need all the people in here Can we trade again no, you got shit. Wow, this is going to be cool, actually. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how these guys evolve as three cities in the in the very close proximity. To the point where I don't want to destroy them. Like, if they don't bug me and they just, you know, implode on each other, I'm totally cool with that. But I think they're going to grow out to, like, this one big mega city, which could be really cool to look at. Generally, these cities aren't ever close to each other so we've corralled them into a pretty good spot the crime is up why is crime up do you not have enough parks all right let's get some parks in here Is that going to make you happy, guys? Yeah, 344 up. When the wind's blowing perfectly. Um, yeah, we're going to run out of energy really soon if I don't upgrade all these windmills. Tertiary education. Um, I do want the next distribution logistics to get all our couriers huts up and running and then in chemical factories and so forth all right they're slowly getting into the downtown core here that's a lot of nuggets in one area let's upgrade all their water probably give them more water if I can
Okay, we're producing five steel beams a minute. Let's prioritize one electronics factory. Steel beam number four. Boom. Okay. So let's keep looking at. We're just going to be draining gas, iron, and oil like nobody's business now. I can't get to this oil or this iron, I should say. I can probably still get over here though. So that's going to be something I need to look at before they expand out too far. But let's keep tapping away. Tap, tap, taparoo. Got food over there, right? Just one. Um, there's gonna be a lot of people working over here, so we're gonna need a lot of restaurants. Fair amount of storage too. Damn it. Okay, first one's coming up. Prioritize second. Let's see what kind of hit this takes for everything. Producing 19, consuming 5, producing 15, consuming 2. I think gas is the biggest struggle. As abundant as it, as it is, just placing and staying ahead of the gas thing, that's why I would love absolutely love if they had a ministry of resources that just did this shit for me but no Okay, sand missiles, tertiary education next. Let's go with plastic, modern warfare, or refinement. Kind of pick off a couple of these. Where's space age? Right over here. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to hammer this out pretty fast, actually. As weird as it sounds. And that's kind of the thing where, you know, I can, I can rush into modern age and try and get rush into space age, but what good is it going to do me when I don't have anything accumulated, right? You know, like why struggle for basic necessities and basic supplies when we can have it all stockpiled and have a surplus of everything. And that's kind of why, if anybody's still watching, <laughs> that's kind of why that, uh, I take my time in each age just to upgrade everything because that gives me it's like a double win right where I get a bunch of surplus and I have everything upgraded so I can just focus on building modern technology for the era. And like always I'm not inundating anybody I'm not trying to get too many things built at once.
Okay, electronics is coming up. I'm going to maybe build out this way for electronics. I can probably end up doing this as spaceport and cosmodrome in this area and then just having chemicals, electronics down this way, steel over here. That's probably a good idea. A couple plastic factories on the side over here. I'm trying to plan it out. Tertiary education is going to be an absolute must. I have more educated than uneducated, which is friggin' awesome for this, this part of uh, modern age. I think we've done enough schools. But we can always have more. It's kind of a dead zone for schools, so... One here. Where's our sick nuggets? Where's all our sickies? Okay. Why are we so sick over here? Well, I'm glad we put a damn hospital in, but probably should hire somebody for it. How many I got? All good there. And let's go back to that cattle farm. Because that farm is probably ready to go. All right, good. Sign a couple nuggets to that. And let's get some deadly seed going on there. And, oh, we're already full, shit. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Don't want rocks in here. Don't want planks and bricks. Um, oil is probably actually a good idea. It's right there. Oil and gas. Don't need glass. Let's see if that equals out. Let's see if we can balance that if they take these out. If not, I kind of missed the boat on that one. It's okay though. This is going to hold a handful of herbs that will be taken by these farms. All right, electronics factories up and running. Let's get these rocking. We are going to need so many electronics. It is ridiculous. Okay, cool. We got those running. We need a lot more oil for that. So let's start taking more oil out of our beloved planet. We're going to place that damn thing. There it is. Alright, so we'll get... That still gives us a lot of space. We can probably do like two more electronics and two more steel on that line right there. We should be fine. Get another courier set in here. Wedge that guy in. Got a thousand CP. Let's go back to our national forest if we can find it. Try and get some balance on this. I don't want to run out of trees. That'd be some serious friggin' egg on my face. Okay, how are we looking? 1769 down with 21 minutes. That's going to be fine.
Okay, we got chemistry coming up. Still waiting on all the space age stuff. That means we need to start planning some parks. Because as we get all our dirty ass industry up there, we're going to need a lot of things combating it. And these parks are the best way to do it. Because they've given us no other alternative. <laughs> so we just have to place parks everywhere. Which is fine. There's a lot of water draw, but iron mines up and running. Let's get some more people in there. 142 extra nuggets. And modern areas definitely have to have modern stuff going on. Because they get thirsty and they are hungry and they need all kinds of things over there. Reservoir is a shambles. I'm upgrading that reservoir. Don't worry about it. We just got the engineers in there. Don't you worry. All right, folks, it's looking pretty good. We're not doing too bad here. Damn, that's a heavy hit. Luckily, I have ridiculous amounts of snow. Engineers ain't looking too good, eh? Well, we'll have to work on that. Give us a second. Please stand by. Get a pint and a purple heart in there. Get everybody we can in there. All right, contraception ban, it is. Get some SAM missiles going on. We're gonna need them sooner than later. I don't know if it's space age or modern age, I forget, but we are gonna need SAM missiles. Let's 
start our chemical endeavor as well. So I'm okay. thinking I'm going to build them. Yeah, so one. You know what? Let me let me be smart about this logistically. I'm going to place these steel mills. I'm not going to build them yet, but I'm going to place them. One and two. Don't need them. And then chemical factories. We're going to reserve for this area here. So I think what I can do. And this road isn't bad. So I kind of do want to keep it. So we'll try it like this. Do a one. Come on. Come on, OCD and me. We'll just start with two. But we're going to do two, four, six at least down this aisle. Probably two more electronics factories here. More chemicals over here. And that's going to lead into the clone, clone area right there. All right, so what do we got? Um, fuel factory, gene splicing, thermal induction, modern warfare. Well, let's get some roads in here and then we'll start moving on. Yeah, contraception ban. That's what we're looking for. Probably could fit another factory right in that spot couldn't I? Plastic factory? Yeah. I don't want to but I could. Um, That's... Oh I wish that road just went straight. That'd be less shit. But it does not. So we're probably going to destroy all these roads and just have uh, plastics in over there. Or, or now that I think about it, looking pretty good right here isn't it? What's, what are you afraid of here? What are we, what's stopping us? There we go. Right, I'll have to figure out a good spot for engineers in this area. We're keeping it pretty tight right now though. Engineers should hold this, this whole situation down. <laughs> 